What's up, everybody? TCM here, back with another video. And today, I wanted to talk about my first week back in college. So if you haven't checked out the I'm going back to college video, I'll quickly summarize it for you. I went back to college, went back to undergrad. I already have an undergraduate degree. I have a master's degree, but I'm trying to get a PhD. There are some classes that I really need and I don't have. So went back to uh, WGU or Western Governors University, and I'm doing their computer science program. And I'm just trying to get knocked out of the way the classes that I need. So uh, in order to apply for a PhD, PhD program by uh, April of 2021. So uh, before we get started, if you like the video, hit like, subscribe, comment down below. You guys know the drill. Uh, we're approaching 150,000 subscribers. That's absolutely insane. I appreciate each and every one of you. So with that being said, kind of want to walk through my process really quick. So I applied, I think, in October-ish for the university. They pretty much accept everybody. Um, I think it's a maybe U.S.-only type university. I could be wrong there. But the benefit of WGU in my book is that I can get as many classes as I want done in a short amount of time. So, and you'll, you'll get to see this here in a second, but I've already finished three classes. I finished three classes on my first day. Um, so the ability to finish some classes and get stuff knocked out, super easy. Uh, for the most part, it is straightforward. You work at your own pace, you get to knock out courses, you move on to the next one. So instead of doing the like community college route, especially when I need math classes, if I would have had to take Calc 1 and then go into discrete math 1, discrete math 2, um, semester by semester, that would take forever. So because I could do it at my own pace, it makes things really, really simple and really easy. The other nice thing is you get six months in your term. I'm going to go ahead and move to my other screen here. But you get six months in your term. And for six months, it only costs thirty five hundred dollars. So if I can knock out, gosh, I don't know how many credit hours, but if I can knock out, say, even 10 classes, that ends up being like, I don't know, three hundred dollars a class for for six months. That's really good when you especially if you break it down by credit hour. Now, I will say that the process getting onboarded for this has been, meh, it was okay. Um, for, for me personally, like it was a little bit too much handholding. So they had you go through all different kinds of like orientation, which is expected. I had to meet with some advisor, like not my advisor, but like an enrollment counselor every single week, maybe two times a week until I got started. It's almost like they don't want to lose this, the sale, if that makes sense, because uh, I don't know if they're for profit or not, but it felt very like, hey, we want you here. We want you here. We want you here. So don't let that go uh, versus a, a university where you're like, hey, I'm going to apply. I hope I get in. This is like, hey, you applied. We don't want to lose you type deal. So with that being said, um, I, I think the coursework so far is OK. Um, outside of getting into the university being the most annoying part, once I got in, I heard that your advisor is hit or miss. OK, so. Um, I have a fantastic advisor, by the way. I told her, I said, hey, I'm here. I don't even know if I want to finish the degree program. I just want to do the classes I need to get done to apply for school. And then if I want to finish, I'll finish out. Because um, at this point, I don't need a bachelor's degree or another bachelor's degree. So unless I really want it, um, you know, I don't I don't know at this point. So we'll see how the, the semester goes. But she's like, heck, yeah, let's do this. We'll we'll go on your plan. Uh, we'll arrange the classes in the, the way that you would need them to do it. I've heard horror stories where you get advisors who are like, no, you're going to do this by the book. And some of the courses that I need were more towards the end of the, the course or the, the degree program. And she's like, no, let's just move those up. Let's push out what you don't need and we'll just let you take your classes. So super happy with that. Um, one downside is that I have to meet with my advisor every week, which again is I get it. If you're if somebody who's like 18 or 19 or doesn't have that motivation, me, I'm very self-sufficient. I, I wish I could push that back to like once a month, especially if she can see that I'm doing the work. Um, but the once a week cadence is just kind of their policy. So for now, I'm meeting with her once a week. Maybe we can get that pushed back. But other than that, those are really my only complaints about the enrollment process and working with them. Now, I'm going to show you kind of what the interface looks like. So let's go back and take a look again at the screen. So if we go here, this is kind of what my degree plan looks like. And this is organized just kind of in the way that I'm doing it. So I had to do an orientation. Actually, let me make this bigger. I had to do an orientation. I had to do a scripting foundations course. 
and I had to do a scripting applications course. So this foundations course was fairly straightforward. I'll open this and I'll show you the differences. Uh, for the foundations course, you have to take an exam. So I had to actually take an exam. And when you come into this course planning um, area, basically you could take a pre-assessment exam. You could take a pre-pre-assessment exam right here with this area, it's like 20 questions. And then you take this pre-assessment, you have to pass your pre-assessment in order to take the full on assessment. So I came in here, I, I did my pre-assessment, I passed. I did this assessment, I passed. You can come look at your coaching report and see how you did. Um, you can either get competent or exemplary. So I took this pretty much on a whim. It's just multiple choice and it was all pseudocode essentially. So you just had to go through it. Um, the design process threw me off a little bit because I've never had formal training with code. So uh, there was like SDLR design and waterfall and agile types and stuff like that, which I knew but didn't know fully. So I got competent instead of exemplary there. Uh, on this side, however, this was more of a coding class. So this was all done in C++. It was great. I have coded in Python. I've never coded in C++, but if you've coded before, it is very easy to pick up at least the beginner syntax of this. Um, and I posted out on Twitter, I said, hey, is anybody interested in me putting out like a four or five hour course on C++? And I'll, I'll kind of go over the beginnings of this because the courses out there are good, but they're kind of dated in the, the code that could be updated like on YouTube. I'm sure there's some more up to date courses, but the one I watched was on free code camp and it was kind of a little bit dated. Um, so I, I kind of want to put something out there that's free, easy to, to go over stuff like that. And it was overwhelming on, on Twitter. I think there was like 900 of you that that liked it and said, yeah, let's do this. So there will be a C++ course coming very soon. Uh, you could see here on the competencies. So it's like introduction to programming, variables, con control structures, etc., all the way down. Um, fairly easy. The difference here is that you have an assessment that you do performance based. So this is called a PA. Uh, and on the PA, you have to actually do based on the task that they show you. So if you click on view task, it says, hey, here's what the task is you have to do. If I come in here and it actually loads, um, it says, hey, here's the entire task that you have to do, which I'm not going to cover all this, but here's like all the competencies you have to have in your task. Let me make this bigger again. But like you have to create basically this student roster and there's a bunch of um, different files you have to create for this. And they, they give you the, the rubric and the idea of what you need to do. But like you have to go through all these and then you come in here and you submit it and then it gets evaluated. And I actually failed my first one or I got it sent back because on one thing, I did not have my function call another function correctly. So I had to go back, rewrite the code to where the print all function called the print function, resubmit this, and then it got it to work. So um, fairly easy. It's it took like a day or two to get this back. And then what's the other one? Intro to IT. Intro to IT was a joke. Uh, so, I mean, I've I've been in IT forever. I didn't study for that. I just I just went in there and, and took it and it was fairly straightforward. It was very much. Um, I don't know, like textbook kind of stuff, though, where you had to go in and like um, name name. Well, there's naming different coding programs and and naming different types of networks and what a network engineer might do. And then there was really some trivia stuff like uh, what generation of computers was this X, Y, Z released in. So uh, for me, it was kind of a little I don't know, just like it wasn't great, but it was OK. Um, but from here, I'm working on calculus right now. I'm going to knock out calculus and then I've got uh, data structures and algorithms. One is a Python class. Uh, I think there is a, yeah, there's an OA here and there's discrete math, which has an OA. Basically those are your, your written tests. Um, so I got to do those two. There's a couple software classes, but I'm going to do discrete math two and data structures first. Uh, this one has a PA here as well. So does software, both softwares have PA, which is good. They get you hands-on in coding. I've got to do operating systems and computer architecture. Uh, the rest of it is fairly straightforward. Uh, web development, super easy. Uh, data data management, all SQL database kind of stuff, super easy if you ask me. Um, business of IT, this is project management. You actually have to do the project plus for um, CompTIA. Software engineering, business of IT applications, and then the rest of this is just, it's whatever. I think the in introduction to artificial intelligence sounds cool. Leadership, whatever, data management, whatever. Uh, computer science capstone, probably pretty cool too. Uh, so that's fairly, fairly it, fairly straightforward. Uh, the other thing that I have is that I take in two exams. You have a proctor with your exam. Your proctor is not from your country. That's all I'm going to say. 
um, and they are a pain in the ass. Uh, and, and it's for a good purpose, right? Like you'll you'll have to take the test and they want to make sure you're not cheating. So you can't wear your hat, which I like wearing hats. Uh, you can't have headphones. You can't have anything uh, plugged in. It's I don't want to call it invasive, but like your area basically I have a room where there's nothing in there. So I set up a desk and that's it. Um, otherwise, I can't imagine taking it in my office or taking it like downstairs. You can't have anybody walk in. You have all these certain rules and stuff. So even during one of my exams, your mileage varies between the the proctors, too, because one was like this was fine. And then and the other uh, proctor I had was like, no, you have to change this, this, this and this. And then um, she was like, middle of my exam, I'm taking my my test. And she stops me and says, did somebody just enter the room? And my my uh, camera was facing the door. So that was the only door in the room. She has you look at all the walls before you start it. And I'm like, no, you're looking at the door. So we had to pause. We had to show the whole room again. Meanwhile, the whole time, my clock is ticking. If it was an exam I actually cared about, I would have been mad because that's just clock wasted on my time. So... Uh, otherwise, outside of the proctoring, I think it's fine. I, I understand the need for a proctor. It, it, it eliminates cheating or uh, significantly helps deter cheating. Um, but overall, like WGU so far has been good. Like I have little nuances that I don't like. I don't like that they hold your hand so much. I don't like which I understand that, too, but I don't like it for me. I wish you could opt out of the phone calls every week, uh, especially during early on. And then uh, once you're into the process, you know, I, I'm. I'm self-sufficient. I don't need that kind of handholding. I understand where some students do, but um, overall, got a great advisor. I'm still gearing up to hopefully apply to something in April. I'm still looking at the PhD program. That is probably my emphasis. Um, we'll see if that if I go that route. Otherwise, maybe a master's in computer science could be interesting too from Georgia Tech. Uh, but just continuing the education and, and going further from there. Outside of that, um, I've had two really good interviews with um, with colleges and two offers from colleges to teach a class. So um, keep your eyes peeled. Uh, I might be teaching at a college here very, very soon. I don't want to give out names or, or anything yet, but um, it's looking very promising that somebody somewhere, perhaps one of you might have me as a, a college professor for your ethical hacking course um, in a town near you. So. That's it. I just wanted to give an update. I, I know you guys actually liked that video. The last video about college um, got watched really well. So I just kind of want to put an update out there and kind of give you here's what week one is like. Uh, probably would take me some time before I give another update on college. I got to get through calculus. I don't remember any of my trigonometry. So I'm struggling on the, the pre-calc uh, trig stuff, but I'll get there. I'll pass it and we'll we'll move on here eventually. So Thank you, everybody. Be on the lookout for a C++ video here very soon. Mini course, I'd guess four to five hours. If it's done in my style, maybe a little longer, maybe a little shorter. So that's it. I will see you in the next video. Peace out.